الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى اللهم وصل وسلم على المصطفى وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين فجزاكم الله خيرا على حسن حضوركم وحسن استماعكم وحسن نياتكم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي قال المصنف رحمة الله عليه فالإسم يعرف بالخفض والتنوين ودخول الألف واللام عليه وحروف الخفض وهي من وإلى وعن وعلى وفي ورب والباء والكاف واللام وحروف القسم وهي الواو والباء والتاء Thus far, we have taken the awal alamatin al madhkura awal al alamat al madhkura lil ism. We've already taken the first sign that was mentioned for al ism, which was correct, it was al khazm. And we described al khazm as al kasrat al lati yuhdithu al aamilu aw ma nab anha. It is a kasra that comes about, or kasra that it is a kasra that comes about by way of the effector or something that takes place of the kasra because of course we discussed some words will have kasra and others will be having khazm in a different way to continue he said he mentioned khazm and tanween let's discuss tanween التنوين 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 is the first one so in the لغة in the Arabic language في اللغة في اللغة the Arabic language التنوين is التصويت Let's make that our lamb, make this our tap, two dots for tap. Atta sweet, atta sweet. Atta sweet means uh, to make a sound. Atta sweet. To make a sound, for example, no one. الطائر نونا الطائر means that the bird sang or the bird نعم the bird sang نونا الطائر نونا الطائر that's the bird sang in نحو عند المحاتي with the grammarians as we are studying grammar so you'll find that each word has a meaning in the لغة which is a linguistic meaning and with the محات with the grammarians which is a grammar which is And with the grammarians, which is 
a grammatical meaning. So in the nuhat, التلوين is نون ساكن تتبع آخر الكلمة لفظا لا معنى لا معنى so this is a simplified definition as of course the شارح الأندلونية said نون ساكنة of course the شارح الأندلونية said نون ساكنة تتبع آخر كلمة لفظا وتفارقه خطا للاستغناء عنها بتكرار الشكلة عند الضبط بالقلم that is a sophisticated way more sophisticated way to define التنوين that is a more sophisticated way to define the تنوين However, we defined it here as Noon Sakina Tetzba'u Akhir al Kalimati Lavvan La Khattan. I have made a mistake. Tetzba'u Akhir al Kalimati Lavvan La Khattan. La Khattan. It is a noon sakina. Noon sakin or noon sakina. Let's go with noon sakina. Noon sakina. Tet bao. Tet bao. After the kalimati lafvan la khattan. This is the correct one. Na ma'ana, as I made a mistake. It is a noon with sukun on it. At, that is at the end of the kalima, end of the word lafvan. When you pronounce the word, when you read the word la khattan, meaning the noon is actually not there. Instead, instead, to kararu ashakla. تكرر الشكل so تكرر الشكل means there will be two ضمس instead of one two فتحات instead of one two كسرات instead of one so تكرر it's repeated فتحات repeated ضمس repeated and كسرات repeated so تنوين is again نون ساكنة تتبع آخر الكلمة لفظا لا خطا it is a noon with sukoon on it it's at the end of the word when you say it when you pronounce it لفظا but you don't write actually a noon for example نحو أو نحو قولك like you would say like you would say محمد Where is the tanween? Correct, at the end of Muhammadun above the da. Sa'idin. Where is the tanween? Correct, at the end of Sa'id underneath the da. Qalaman Where is it in me? Correct About the mean And you will continue For example 
حمد سيارة ورقة عن إنارة مسجد كتابا كمبيوتر Nope, that is incorrect. Computer. As we said, it's not kalam because it is not bilwada. That was just a test there. So all of these are considered asma, isms. Why? Because you have a tanween. You have what? A tanween. At the end of the word. Thus far, we have khaf, that's khaf, dod, as well as tanmi. Fal ismu yu'rafu bil khafmi wa tanmi. So we have two out of four. Halfway done the alamat of the ism. We're halfway done the signs by which the ism is recognized. Let's go on to the next one. He said, وَدُخُولِ الْأَلِفِ وَالْلَامِ Alif and Lam have to be precede the particular word. If alif and lam comes before the word, then you would consider that word an ism. Let's look. al -bayt. The house. Alhamdu The praise or all praise Al Qalam The pen Al Kitabu The book Al Masjidu The masjid. No, that's not it. Because it is not good weather. Another proper example. Al Qamisu. Anavatu Al Yamu Which is the day. Anavara Tamis is a shirt, Navara pair of glasses. Al Yom is a day, which you all know. Al Usbu. Anything that you see with alif and lam for seeing it, then it's considered an ism. Therefore, we've gone over. فَالْإِسْمُ يُعْرَفُ بِالْخَضِّ وَالْتَنْوِينِ وَذُقُولِ الْأَلِفِ وَالْلَامِ فَالْإِسْمُ يُعْرَفُ بِالْخَضِّ وَالْتَنْوِينِ وَذُقُولِ الْأَلِفِ وَالْلَامِ Let's try some more examples for these. 
a good example for all three, excuse me, all four characteristics in one ayah is an ayah that is well known to you all in Surah al Teen, which is in Juzanma. And I encourage you all to read Juzanma and to memorize it and to especially look for what we're learning in that juz because alhamdulillah most of these surahs we've heard all of our lives and most of them we know allah's statement laqad khalaqna al insana fi Ah, Sani Tatawimin Bakad Halapanel Insana Fi Ah, Sani Tatawimin. So think for a minute. Where are the alamat al Islam? Where are the signs of Islam? Yes, the al and al insan. Well, let's know that the word insan, kalima to insan, is an Islam. Yes, the next one is ahsani. Then ahsan must be an Islam because the castle are on the end. Taqwimin is an isim. How do you know? Because of the tanween and because it's kasra. As for the last one, it's both. Al Khafd, the half of Khafd, the particle that pulls down is Fi, that we're going to discuss those particles, inshallah, in the next video. To review, you have Al Khafd, Al Tanmeen, And Alif and Lam preceding the letter. So Khavd will come on the end of the word, excuse me. Khavd will come on the end of the word. Tanmeen also on the end of the word. Alif and Lam in the beginning of the word. Hada sallallahu wasallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Kitabun. Thank you.